What is up guys, it is Matthew Maz Fishing and I wanna say welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are on the ice on my favorite lake, which I'm sure you guys know by now, Lake Simcoe. Got the otter all set up. We actually iced our first fish probably about 10 minutes ago. And uh, yeah, I'm out here today with my dad. Only real goal for today is have a little bit of fun, catch a few fish. It's been a pretty tough season so far, which I think everyone's kind of seen around the lake. It hasn't been crazy really anywhere. I tried quite a few spots, had a couple of skunks. I had a couple days where I caught a few fish, um, but nothing too crazy this year so far. So we'll see how today goes. Hopefully land a couple, put some on the ice. Guys, literally just set up. First fish of the day. As I was literally getting the GoPro going, just hooked one. Fish in the menace. It's a little whitey. Oh, he's right at the hole here. Let's see if I can land this. First fish of the day. It's 8.07 a.m. Not a bad start. I want to give you guys a real quick rundown of what we're running today. This is kind of my go-to gear. It's what tends to work for me. Uh, everyone does have a little bit of a different opinion. Keep that in mind. Just because I'm using it doesn't mean it's the perfect setup. Doesn't mean it's the only setup. There's tons of ways to catch fish. Uh, so I have a ice custom rod, 36 medium. Jules makes great rods. Uh, pretty affordable for a custom rod as well. So if you're looking for a nice ice rod, I highly recommend checking out his stuff. We have that paired with a Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus 1000. Totally overkill for ice fishing, but I like this reel, so this is what I'm running. I have that paired with 10 pound braid, 10 pound fluoro, and uh, we're running a Menace jig right now. These are made by Mark Bolton, uh, super nice guy. Really awesome jigs, they're very compact, and uh, they sit pretty vertically. Similar idea to Amigs or Bad Boys. Uh, I really like these myself, so this is what I'm running and uh, have that paired up with one of the Bass Pro Shops tubes on the back. It's nice and compact, I cut the fins down a little bit and uh, I like those, they work well for me. Chartreuse has always been a good color. These have been weird, it's been like a few fish here and there but nothing special. Our best day was the four that I got last weekend. How many did I get? Not a... Ah! Why are you wrecking my rod? Fish, fish. Oh. He's just coming up with you. Drop down. He's on you. There we go. Number two, guys, we're actually just getting ready to move. Cause it's been pretty slow here. And as we were packing up, I saw that one come in. This is on the menace again. Feels like a whitey from the head shakes. Maybe not, dad, you might want to pull your line and you swim to the side. Oh, maybe not. It's whitey. Is it? Yeah. You see it? Yep. Hold on. I think you've already got Can my you line. grab that rod behind me? Yeah, I'm trying to get my line out. You already got it. I'm just going to let it go, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Tangled up in the lines here. It's getting a little messy. Give me a good bite. You sure it's a whitey? You saw it? Whitey, yeah. It was fighting like a whitey at first, but it's giving me a good little fight. Oh, yeah. Nice little white fish, guys. Won't come in. I think he's all wrapped up. Or he's hooked on the bottom side of the mouth. The hardest part's just getting his head right in the hole. Once you... Oh, yeah, he's hooked right under the mouth. There he is. Fish number two of the day. And that's the second fish of today. Bigger whitey, better size. I don't know if we should move now. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll probably drop down for a few more minutes. See a few more of those come in. Guys, if there's one thing I've learned over the years, you don't uh, leave fish to find fish. 
So I wanna give you a real quick rundown of the technique that we're using here today. It's a pretty tried and true method here on Lake Simcoe. And uh, for anyone having trouble, I know some people struggle a little bit with white fish, so we're gonna give you a quick walkthrough. So first things first, we got your bait in the water. Right now I have a menace. Doesn't matter if you're using a menace, a meegs, a bad boys, a lipless crankbait, a soft plastic on a net head, whatever, this is how I fish it. So we're gonna open our bail. We're gonna drop that bait right to the bottom. I was already pretty much there. You'll see now if you look at my line right here, it's slack. So that's how I know that bait's at the bottom. You can also see that on the fish finder. From here, we're gonna go and we're gonna just reel the slack out of the line. And you're gonna get it so that your rod tip is about an inch or so from the water. From there, you don't need to reel in your line. You don't have to ever touch your reel until you actually hook a fish. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna raise the bait up. You're gonna raise it about a couple feet off bottom, probably about a foot and a half. And all you're gonna do is just wait for that mark to come in. You can jig it, you can sit and dead stick your bait, you can do whatever. I don't find it personally matters too much. If I use something like a lipless, a lot of the time I'll jig it, make a little vibration. If I have something like a menace, a lot of the time I dead stick it, it works fine. Once that fish comes in, he's gonna come and he's gonna swoop up to your bait. And once he's at the level of your bait, you're gonna lower the bait down. You wanna lower it so that you're still in contact with the bait. You don't want a slack line. This is what I find works well. The reason why is you always maintain contact with the bait. A lot of the time, as soon as you get it down there, that fish will pin it against the ground. And what you're basically gonna do from there is super lightly, just off bottom, just a hair, maybe an inch or so, very, very lightly jig. And you don't wanna be jigging using the rod tip. You wanna be jigging your whole arm. Cause what that does is it's going to move everything at once. You're gonna keep in contact with that bait and you're not gonna lose contact with whatever's down there. So the second you feel a bite, you're either gonna feel the weight instantly disappear, which means the fish sucked it up, or you're gonna feel a very light tap. And it's literally as light as feeling just a finger like that on your rod. That's what to look for. That's the technique we're using. It's pretty tried and true. I'd say a good chunk of guys out here are using it. So if you're having trouble catching fish, this is what I suggest you do. I think so. Oh, another mark. Okay, okay, I'm gonna come back then. Seems to be like they're coming back around. Got it. Fish on. Hey. I'm going back to my old bowl. <laughs> All right, man. I'll uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. I'm just filming. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You got me again. We're tangled up. Yeah. Just let open your bail. That's fish number three, guys. He came off. This one's gotta be a whitey from the way it's pulling. Another one on the menace. There you guys saw fish number three for me. It's been uh, a tough day for my dad over here so far. <laughs> But uh, yeah, number three on the board, wasn't anything special, just a decent white fish, put up a fun little fight. We're, uh, we're gonna keep going here. Hopefully my dad can get a couple. It's uh, about 10.45, we have to head in around two or so, so we have a couple hours left in our day. Hopefully we can get a few more fish put on the ice. It's about 2 p.m. here, guys, and we're gonna just about call it a day on that note. Wasn't a crazy day. Um, I mean, three fish landed, so can't complain with that. Got a limit. It's a little bit tough for my dad today, unfortunately, but uh, I'm sure he'll probably beat me next time and I'll probably be the one, you know, not getting too many on the ice. So that's the way it goes sometimes. Beautiful day out here, so we can't complain too much. Just looking for a last minute bite. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit something in this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.